things that I missed while I was in Iraq was the, the sound of children. There, we were with uh, coalition forces and uh, mostly soldiers, and there's no children to be around. So to come home and to be a part of a Veterans Day celebration and to have the children put their time and their energy and their voices into um, appreciating our veterans of this, uh, the United States, uh, that was a great feeling and it made me very happy and uh, made me know that my children are a part of something special here in Friendswood.
We are grateful for your commitment and service to the United States of America.
present or have, uh, introduce to you right now a special guest, Lieutenant Colonel Dave Siraj, who just came back from Iraq within a month and who has a special treat for Westwood. But I think today, first graders, you really need to pay attention to this because I think um, your presentation might be what this might be about. Lieutenant Colonel Dave Siraj. Thank you, Principal Hobry. Um, I was, uh, that was fantastic, first graders. Give yourself a hand. <laughs> so that was a lot of work. So thank you very much. Uh, this was kind of a surprise to me. I, I wasn't expecting to be here in front of you today, but uh, since I'm here, I thought I might uh, share some thoughts I had while I was uh, sitting and listening to this wonderful performance. Uh, very patriotic uh, dedication to our veterans. I thought about three things while I was sitting with you in the crowd. I thought about our rich heritage that we have uh, as a nation and as a military. I thought about our children, and I thought about our flag, uh, our heritage. Uh, I know we have a lot of veterans out here among us today, and I would like to salute each of you for the service that you have given us and the sacrifices that you and your families have made to ensure freedom for this country and for the countries around the world. Um, that has brought an opportunity not only to our children, but children throughout the world, and I'll speak specifically of the children that are growing and learning in the country of Iraq. I just returned uh, last Monday to uh, this wonderful nation, and while I was in Iraq, something that became very obvious to me was that I was, there was something that was absent, and it was the sound of children. And uh, the only time I would ever see a child was in the hospital. And uh, that was the only time in the area that I was that I had the opportunity to hear a child's voice. So you can imagine my joy, my great joy, when I come home and am greeted on a Veterans Day by this wonderful act of love and honor. And I look to the wall over there that the children put together, and I read the letters that they wrote to the soldiers that are in this nation serving us, and uh, it, it really got to me, uh, and I love them very much for that. Thank you, teachers, uh, for making that possible. Lastly, I'd like to talk about our flag, and uh, Principal Hobart, could you come up for just one moment, please? The children said it best when they said it's an emblem of this land that we love. And uh, this flag that I'm going to present to you, Prince Holbrook, um, is very special to me. I flew my 100th combat mission over Iraq, uh, supporting our troops on the ground in their peacekeeping uh, missions that they had there. And uh, this flag is very special to me. It's special to my family, and it's special to my children that attend Westwood here. And I dedicate that flag to them, to all the teachers, and to you, Lynn. Thank you very much. so much to each of our students and our teachers to have the opportunity to say thank you for your service. At this time, we'd like to recognize our veterans in attendance today. As I call your name, please stand so our students can present you with letters of appreciation they've written this week. From the Army, we have Mike Fatherly, grandfather of Haley Permenter. Manalita Clay, father of Isaiah Clay. <laughs> Malcolm Hermes, grandfather of Claire Hermes.
from the Air Force, Willie Antill, grandfather of Mackenzie Mickey. Dan Turner, grandfather of Sydney Turner. From the Marines, Stanley Spofford, father of Alex Spofford. Mr. Tommy Blake, grandfather of Trace Michael. Robert Hiles, a friend of Westcliff. <laughs> Lawrence Ruth Sr., grandfather of Ian Ruth. Larry Carmenter, oh, this is from the Navy, excuse me. Larry Carmenter, grandfather of Haley Carmenter. Troy Davenport, grandfather of Amory Saladana. <laughs> William Moffitt, grandfather of Ethan Moffitt. <laughs> Virgil McIntyre, grandfather of John <laughs> Michael Wayne Gilbert, father of Brett Gilbert. Billy Kilman, grandfather of Cody Pappas. Edward A. Gibbons, great grandfather of Nicholas Seiler. And from the Army, Roy Nickerson, grandfather of Riley Nickerson. Nick Harrison, father of Ivan Harrison. Are there any other veterans with us today? If you are, please stand and let us recognize you. Thank you, moms and dads. Thank you, most of all, veterans. I need to let you know our school has many, many programs throughout the course of a year. I couldn't even calculate how many programs we might do. But I can tell you with every passion, with every fiber of my being, that this presentation that we had early this morning and then the service that we have right now are the most are the most worthwhile programs that we can have. They're the most worthwhile programs that we can teach these young people. I commend our Mrs. Rakita, our music teacher. Uh, it's great to hear the kids sing of patriotism. I commend the first grade teachers for teaching it. We talk about our characters of pillar, our pillars of character, excuse me, trustworthiness, respect, responsibility, fairness, caring, citizenship. And I'm excited to say that when I think about our military and our veterans, they exhibit those very characteristics that we try to teach every day here at Westwood. Veterans, we thank you. Before I end, I want to read you a letter. It was sent to us last week. It's from Sergeant Brian T. Moore, United States Marines. Westwood Elementary School. I wanted to say thanks for you sending me the wonderful drawings. I enjoyed looking into all of them. I see some future artists coming up in this world. I have a 10 month old baby boy and I look forward to seeing many of his drawings when he gets to be your age. I have a few more months here and I will get to go home to see my family. I miss them very much. But I have pictures that I can see every day. Everything is in order here in Iraq. It's like a giant sandbox that we get to play in every day. <laughs> when you are old enough, I hope this place will be like America. Where everyone is happy and free. So for now, I will do my best to make sure that happens for all of you. Your friends and your family. You all take care 
and listen to your teachers. Thank you. Thank you, veterans. We do say thank you to you today. And I will let you know this. As long as we were here at Westwood, we will not let you be forgotten. God bless America, and thank you so much for your service. Makes me feel really special. It makes me feel like everything I've done has had a, it has a, a purpose. Uh, everything that we've done and the people that I've served with hasn't done it in vain. I think it does. I think it brings a lot of morale to to the hearts of uh, the veterans that serve. Uh, we feel really honored whenever we see kids as little as these young kids that we saw today. You know, appreciating the things that we've been through and the freedom that they have. But to come to uh, an event like this uh, and see, you know, kids uh, really appreciate it and uh, you know thank us for it. it let's just kind of know that, you know, we're doing we're doing what we're supposed to be doing.